2020, unknown company Nawal launched the Nawal T10, the first robotic vacuum cleaner with self-cleaning mops. The robot packs itself at the base, pours water into the tray, rinses out the mops, draws the dirty liquid into a spare tank, and continues cleaning with clean mops. The technology turned out to be so promising that it was immediately adopted by the industry leaders. Within two years, Dreamy bought W10, Xiaomi All-in-1, Roidme Eva, D-Bot X1 Omni Echo Vax appeared on the market. And even Roborock now uses similar technology in its flagship Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. Although it doesn't have mops, we can say that now while T10 has made a small revolution among washing robots and attracts attention to the new brand. At the same time, the company's first vacuum cleaner had too many drawbacks, which significantly limited its sales, especially after the appearance of analogous. Now while T10 cannot vacuum and clean floors at the same time, it has no Turbo brush. The suction power is at the level of robots in 2018. There is no function of recognizing carpets, and so the manufacturer studied the reviews, looked at the competitors' offerings, and released the new Naval Freer in October 2022. The new robot not only corrected the shortcomings of its predecessor, but also offered a number of innovations that no other vacuum cleaner has yet. The visual design remains the same, a minimalistic Xiaomi-style body with the LiDAR turret on the top, but Naval decided to abandon the D-shape in favor of manual Maneuverability. Now the robot is round, which makes it better around furniture legs. The main change concerns the design of the bottom. The arrangement of accessories has become more traditional. The mops have been moved to the back, and so that they don't cover the bell. Novel Freya can vacuum and wash in one walk cycle, or do it separately if necessary. The end brushes no longer need to be installed every time. They are now permanently fixed in place. A turbo brush was installed in the walk unit so that the vacuum cleaner can clean carpets. Moreover, the suction power has almost died doubled, from 1800 to 3000 pascals. This is still not enough for deep cleaning of carpets, but the novel Frio picks up hair and particles on the surface well. Under the bumper there is a floor sensor. It allows the novel Frio to go around carpets when it's wet, and boosts the power when it's dry. The design of the cleaning model has been improved, and novel Frio can clean all surfaces in one go. If the app doesn't activate the function of bypassing the carpet, the robot will drive up on them and pick up the mops. The same system as the Xiaomi all-in-one mop and vacuum robot. The docking station has been improved too, and she got a touchscreen display, where among other functions you can activate the child lock. It's useful if there are small children in the house. The functionality of the docking station has also increased. Now it adds detergent to the water to better rinse wipes, and after cleaning dry them with a hair dryer. This prevents the formation of mold in the tray. There are some absolutely unique innovations. First and foremost is the corner traps function. When walking along walls, Naval Freya performs a 45 degrees rotation of the body in each area. With such a program of movement, the end brush has time to replace more debris. But most importantly, the robot runs the mop along the baseboards. This simple and ingenious innovation should solve the perennial problem with unwashed areas along the edges. The second unique technology is tuba brush lift. This feature is definitely useful during wet cleaning on a clean floor. The robot will use less energy, and the bristles will not wear out so quickly. It's not yet known whether this technology will work during dry mopping, and so the robot will simply suck up the debris with the nozzle and not win the hair on the tuba brush. And for more, now all free boosts dot sense technology which allows you to determine the degree of contamination of the surface and if necessary to do a second cleaning. And how exactly this technology works and how it differs from dirt detecting Roomba vacuum cleaners, we will know when Narval Freya gets to me for review. Another promising technology, regulating the pressure of the wipe depending on the type of flooring. In particular, the robot distinguishes wooden floor from tile and treads it gently so as not to damage it. The novelty has some controversial solutions. For example, the manufacturer abandoned the traditional design of the side brush. Narval Freya has two brooms on each brush instead of three. The purpose of such innovation is to reduce the scattering of debris on the sides, but other manufacturers' experience shows that brushes with more bristles work better. 
for example the Roborock 5 brush and so I have some doubts about the quality of the new Naval Freer brushes. The second controversial solution is the Bristle Tuba brush. Already we can say that this solution is not even controversial but frankly unsuccessful. Without rubber blades the brush will quickly get clogged with hair and the quality of dry cleaning will be lower. Why the manufacturer chose such an obsolete solution is not clear. Another cause for concern is the unusual arrangement of the rollers. The swivel roller is moved to the back and the small supporting rollers which will coil the hair are placed in the front. Because of this the frequency of maintenance will increase. Overall, now Alfria is the most original vacuum cleaner of the year. It's interesting to know how the innovations presented will work in practice. The official website charged $1,300 for the robot. The relatively high price tag is due to the unique features of the Naval Freya. When it arrives, I will definitely give it a full review. Follow the news on the website and subscribe to the YouTube channel.